Weighing in at 103 kilograms, 25-year-old Joey Chestnut, also known by his nickname Jaws, is an eating machine to behold. The world champion eater won the world's first shrimp wonton eating contest held in Singapore by scarfing down a gut-blasting 381 tons. It was a neck-to-neck -neck race with his longtime nemesis, Japanese eater legend Takeru Kobayashi. Joey has defeated Kobayashi twice in the famous U.S. hot dog eating contest in 2007 and 2008, breaking the Japanese eater icon's six-year champion streak eating hot dogs and buns. Ahead of the wonton competition, Joey told Razor TV that he would often look over his shoulder to see how Kobayashi was doing. He's my nemesis. <laughs> He's a.、Uh, I mean, we are we're friends, but we're very serious competitors. Day of the contest, even today, we're very serious. We push each other very hard. How about your, you know, the technique of、uh, eating? I mean, eating competitively, obviously, is not your leisurely brunch or anything like that. You know, so is there a technique for especially different kinds of foods? There, there's there's a couple of different techniques. Kobayashi he uses a very graceful technique where he's、uh, very graceful when he eats. Me, I'm very forceful. I'm very I'll jump around a little bit, and I'll be sweating, and I push myself very hard. I, when I'm when I'm in the contest, I tell myself eat with a sense of sense of urgency, like I have to keep going, and、uh, and, that, and that's my my mentality during the contest. I eat as fast as I can, as hard as I can, until until it's over. Do you necessarily always stuff your face with a lot, or are you very conscious of how much chewing space you have, or、um, whatever? You know, it, sometimes I'll, I'll I'll overstuff my mouth, and I don't want to do that、uh, just because it, it'll end up slowing me down. But early in the contest, I, as 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 fast as I can put it in my mouth, I'm trying to swallow it.、Uh, it chew just a little bit and get, get it down.、Uh, Sometimes, sometimes I'll overstuff, and, and it's ugly. I'm not the prettiest eater. It, it, there's nothing pretty about competitive eating. And he's already planned his strategy to beat Kobayashi. This contest, I'll be able to swallow some of the wontons whole. Right in the beginning, when my muscles are strong, I won't need to chew. But towards the end of the contest, I'll definitely need to chew more. I'll need to drink more water to swallow,、uh, just because the muscles get fatigued.、Uh, but the muscles in my throat and esophagus are very strong. I can't. It's They can, I, I can swallow more than most people. A professional career in competitive eating was not something he planned for. How did you get started on competitive eating? I mean, people don't. Yeah, it's not a very common sport, obviously. So, <laughs> but did you like eat a lot when you were young? I, I don't know. How was it for you? It's something I didn't, I didn't want to become a competitive eater. It, it shows me.、Uh, my little brother, he knew that I could eat more than any of any of my older brothers, and he signed me up to my first contest. And after the first contest, I knew that、uh, I knew I was made for it. My body, I could easily eat more than the competitors, and I just started to figure out how to train my body and, and fast and make sure the day of the contest I could eat my maximum,、uh, eat to my maximum capacity. I get my body into a cycle where I'll where I'll do a practice contest, and then I'll fast. And when I'm fasting, I'm not eating any solid food. I'm just drinking liquids. And then the day of my next practice, I push a little bit farther. And every every time I eat, do a practice contest and get the food down and digest it, I know I can eat a little bit more the next time. Joey broke world records in the past by chomping down 231 juices in 10 minutes, 68 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes, and most recently, an amazing 103 hamburgers in just eight minutes. Have you ever gotten like indigestion or before? You know, it's a.、Uh... I've been very lucky. My body's been,、uh, like I said, I think it was made for it.、Uh, I've, I've been very healthy. Are you guys allowed to puke during a competition, or、oh, do you, do you puke after a competition?、Uh, if I see anybody puke, I make fun of them. <laughs> that, 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 I mean, the only. Oh yeah, yeah. I made. I mean, I, I feel good because I, I made them puke because they couldn't keep up with me. But.、Uh, The people who puke, they they never get any better. The only way you get better is if you get it down and digest it, and then your body, it's a mental thing. Once you digest the food, you know you can eat a little bit more next time. But don't be surprised. This big eater doesn't eat truckloads for his daily meals, and actually keeps an exercise regime. I run. I also I also maintain what I'm、uh, monitor my calorie intake. I I make sure I don't eat too much、uh, when I'm when I'm training because.、Um, I believe you have to be healthy in order to push your body. You have to be able to control your breathing during the contest, and make sure. And anybody who weighs 400 pounds is not going to be able to push themselves for eight minutes really hard, or, or 10 minutes or 12 minutes. This contest is eight minutes, and and we're pushing so hard, we're going to be sweating and and 
if we're going to be breathing hard. So it, you have to be healthy. Meet speed eating legend Takeru Kobayashi next.